Uh, what specific reaction do you expect from the European Union, from the United States? Yes, very, very plain and simple. Uh, we have shown, we have revealed with this Putin's palace uh, uh, investigation once again very clearly that the only thing President Putin really cares about is money. He is just a very nasty leprechaun with a pot of gold. Actually, his dream, he had like, I mean, he had uh, unlimited resources. He could accomplish whatever, whatever, like having all Russia's resources and money and uh, talent. And we saw, and our investigation revealed it, that his dream is just a huge palace with, you know, like uh, red uh, carpets and gold everywhere. So we, re we managed to prove that he really cares only about money, not all about his, like, you know, geopolitical standing or uh, making Russia great again. No. So the strategy should be to go after money. There is a lot of Putin's money in Europe. I mean, official data, Russian official statistics suggests that the uh, flow of capital from Russia uh, uh, is over 60 billion US dollars annually. It's the unofficial data is, I think, uh, much higher. So at least dozens or hundreds of billions of uh, Russian taxpayers' money are being stolen and exported from Russia. And people buy uh, houses, flats in Mayfair, uh, chateaus in France, uh, villas in Yurmala, whatever. Like, uh, this is all uh, very dirty money that corrupts and rots also European institutions. Because, for instance, so if I'm a, a Russian oligarch or if I am a Russian, I don't know, deputy minister, and I managed to steal a couple of million euros and I bought myself a, a house in Yurmala, then the next thing that I very naturally will do will be to buy myself a local municipal councillor, a local judge, a local policeman, as I did it in Russia before, for just 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 because uh, I don't want that they would ask questions about source of my funds, just just because that I'm that's something I'm used to, and this and that's how expert of corruption works. That's how corruption rots political institutions, and we've seen a lot of this. We we see many. European politicians on Putin's payroll. We, we've seen members of European Parliament like uh, Thierry Mariani of France or even Marine Le Pen going to Crimea and uh, announcing that like the, the referendum for, you know, uh, the, the Crimea referendum of uh, 2014 was purely democratic and just brilliantly organized and so on. So the, we see many German politicians of the IFD, the Alternative for the National Party, uh, being just like uh, ready to say whatever Putin asks them to say, and so on, so on. So Putin exports a lot of money to Europe, first of all to Europe, and uses this money to corrupt and destroy European political institutions. So the re, re, the rebuttal should focus on this money, go after money, seize assets of Putin's closest friends, allies of Putin's oligarch, uh, investigate how money comes from Russia to European political system and uh, cut off those uh, channels. Because it's also very essential for European political institutions to, to, to persist.